Om Shanti, welcome to 1st of October Scholarly Pissing. How do you feel fearless and carefree? So there are two methods. One is have so much of money, so much of wealth and so much of power and post and position, so many contacts that you feel fearless and carefree. But by the way, it's not going to last long. People change, finances change, countries change, rulers change and connections change. So then how will you feel fearless and carefree? Only one method is there. The direct connection with the creator. So God here says, may you be constantly be in a place of safety. By being seated on Bab Dada. Bab means Godfather. Dada means first Adam. First creation of God. Bab Dada's heart throne and remain fearless and carefree. Bab Dada's heart throne is the most elevated place where nobody can touch you. Those who are constantly seated on Bab Dada's heart throne remain constantly safe. That means they are following God's guidance, God's direction and that's why they are safe. Maya cannot come to them. That means negative thoughts, impure feelings towards others, revenge cannot come to them. Such souls seated on the heart throne are fearless and carefree. So if you are fearless, will you take revenge? No. If you are fearless, will you have any kind of bad feelings or hatred towards anybody? No. This is fixed and firm. So just be seated on the heart throne for whose Godfathers do things as per his guidance and then leave it to him. Maintain the intoxication. I am now seated on Bab Dada's heart throne and will be seated on the throne of the kingdom for many births. Now this is about the future. When we are seated on Godfather's heart throne, automatically that means we have been doing such pure divine karmas that we, we deserve to be seated on the throne of the kingdom of heaven in the coming future. When you have the spiritual intoxication, no waves of sorrow can come to you. So it's, this is something, this is a blessing which is talking about the past. It's a blessing which is talking about the present, what we are supposed to do. It's a blessing which is talking about the future. But the main crux of it is being fearless and carefree. Many people, because of their wrong karmas, are not able to be fearless and are not able to be carefree. So to learn the art of doing the right kind of karmas, the pure karmas, the divine karmas, and still survive in this Kali you are most welcome to learn this beautiful art at Brahma Kumari Center. Om Shanti with this.